Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> I love thank your work you, there. It's awesome. Appreciate that. Yeah, that um, that's actually that that's a label of Tarshir's. Um, I founded that in 2017. Oh, nice. Um, and it's been for the international market. And we've been, you know, just building up ever since. So when we got Bogoy, like I've been wanting to work with him for a minute because obviously, I mean, you guys have had him on the show, right? Oh you yeah, know he's, him. he's class. He's class. He's one of the most talented people I've ever. I totally agree with that statement. <laughs> and uh, so we finally got to work together. Was it last? No, this year. This Did year. You, yeah. Um, I, no, no, no. I think we recorded actually last year, uh, end of last year. But I've been wanting to for a while, and he'd been wanting to. And we finally did it, and, and it would turn out better than I hoped. So we, we got we got a lot more planned. It's life. a tune mm-hmm. and a half. That reggae flow, just so unexpected. I loved it. He really shines on through that through that style. He does. You obviously you obviously saw the the opportunity there. It's um, amazing stuff. Whose so, idea was that, Chris? To go reggae. Well, I mean, like I think reggae has been like ever since he did that cover of One Day. Yes. Uh, <laughs> obvious that reggae is just, like he goes reggae and R and B. But we were talking about what he wanted to do, and I had actually just. Um, I just had gotten into reggae a lot at the end of the last year. I was kind of obsessed with it. And so I was, I hit him up. I was like, why don't we just do like a straight up reggae, like pop track? And he's like, yeah, uh, I'm down. So nice. um, I made the beat and I sent it to him. And then he and his buddy wrote it. Uh, and then he came over and recorded it. And um, I mixed it and sent it off for mastering. And turned out how it did. <laughs> Oh, freaking amazing, dude. It's insanity. How long have you been producing? Yeah, like, it, your music's freaking cool. It's so crisp. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I started in 2009. Mm. I got a copy of Ableton, and I just started messing around. I just started watching YouTube videos, and I don't think I made, everything I made was shit for, like, the first six <laughs> years. I wouldn't put my name on any of it. Uh, but then I started to figure out like how to mix um, and, you know, some other tricks. Uh, and and I, I mean, I play guitar my whole life. I used to play in a band. And so I was able to um, apply that. Uh, when I started, I was trying to make EDM. So it wasn't a lot of guitar in it. But then in the last few years, I started to kind of get out of that and more into I don't know. I don't know even what to call it anymore. But I just kind of blend all my influences and, you know, some EDM, some R&B, some hip hop, some rock. And it's now reggae. I'm, I'd be happy to just make reggae, actually. Yeah, well, you rock at it. It's it's a great <laughs> style. It suits you both. It's like. Um...